Uh, in this environment, again, I, I'm back to this sort of default scene. Um, in this case, I'm going to leave the pivots as they are, so roughly centered, because I think my import object, I will be importing this other column uh, from a separate scene file, which is this one here. So they, these objects basically have the same pivot. Okay. But what I'm going to do instead of just simply importing, I'm going to actually go into File, uh, Create Reference. Has anybody ever done a reference before? No? So what a reference allows you to do, it's kind of one of the po most powerful aspects I think of Maya and has been for over 20 years or close to 20 years at this point. Um, I'm going to reference this column object. So I'm in my environment scene which has the multiple columns, right? I'm going to reference in this column object. So uh, in this case, what I'm going to do, let's say I've had my scene blocked and I want to replace these objects. I'm going to select these other objects, select my column, and you're going to see it has its own little uh, name here. I'm also going to delete my initial uh, object since it's in that place. But this reference, uh, which is here, I'm also going to replace it through here. So I'm going to select these objects, click on this third object, go to modify, and instead of just clicking on replace objects, I'm going to go to the little settings option. You can do an instance if you want. In this case, I'm going to do a reference. So what that's basically saying, so when I hit replace, it's replacing all these objects now with the reference file. So it actually kind of shows you this by saying, OK, here's the, the file name, which is the first part of the naming. And then here's the, the name of the object. So I'm going to go and uh, just save the scene. I'll do a save as, I guess, and save it as a version. Or in this case, you can quickly just go to uh, increment and save. I hope people are using increment and save because it will save your life. Alt, control, S. So it's automatically going to start numbering your files, right? So if you do um, increment and save, you'll see it actually starts quickly numbering the file. Very, very convenient. So alt, alt, control, S like every 10, 15, 20 minutes. Like make it a habit. So I'll go into my column now. Um, so just to mention this, if you do uh, an increment and save on your project, so if I do increment and save on this column, let me actually add some changes to this uh, because I think the software will not let me um, actually save or update the scene until I do. So I'll do alt Control s which is a shortcut. So it automatically numbers it up top here. You see it says column.001. Then I'll do, let's say, a little extrusion on this. Control e extrude this out. And then I'll do alt Control s again. Right, so it's going to update that that numbering. But if I'm doing this as a reference, I always want to keep a master file, which is just going to be the name of the object. So in this case, I'm going to always save the la the latest edition over column.mb, or could be .ma if you're using MAs. So I always want to make sure because that's the file that's going to be referenced into my environment scene, right? My my kind of main scene. So when you have shots, if you have character rigs in a bunch of animation shots, you might have in a short film, 10, 20, 30 separate Maya file scenes for each individual shot in the film, you're going to reference in a rig. Well, the great thing is maybe the rig needs an update, a fix. Do you want to keep swapping rigs and transferring animation each time? Or do you just want to open the file and have the reference automatically update, right? So that's part of the genius of referencing is that it quickly updates any file that that object is referenced into. So what's great about this is if we take a look, I'm going to open up uh, the environment scene. So remember, this object is now updated. So if I go to the environment scene, uh, oops, i got to open up my latest edition of the environment scene, which is 01. Check it out. The updates are applied automatically. So it's a dynamic link between two files when you create a reference, right? So it's just simply file create reference. There are more variations uh, on this that we can talk about, but just take a look. So let's say if I uh, open up another copy of Maya here. Let's say I do something else with this thing, right? I'm going to um, maybe take these faces and do, yeah, let's just, I guess, extrude these up. So I'm just going to use the shift scale or shift move. OK. Um, so even if I, I don't know, attach a kind of base to this thing, So I want to be careful with this too. If I attach new objects, 
Um, when I do a combine, I do not want to shift the pivot point. So when I do a combine, I will do a little special thing here. I usually will select the extra objects and then shift click the main object last. The reason being is that if I shift right click and go to combine in the combine options, I can tell it to, the default is to just automatically center the pivot, but I want it to use the last selected object pivot position. So it doesn't shift it out of position, right? So that's a very intentional thing I'm doing. Uh, and it also may, may be important as well for modeling if you want to do a simple symmetry, a mirror, or some sort of uh, rotational change. Uh, it's very, very useful. And again, I'll do Alt, uh, Alt Control S, but then I also need to go back and do a save as to my, my master for the column, which is basically this column.mb, right? Um, so I'll save that out. If I jump back over to my other scene, Uh, let's go to the reference editor and I'm going to click on this uh, reload reference file it may take a second okay so yeah I'll select all these just so they update there we go reload for some reason I think I broke my reference <laughs> but let me just try to reopen the file so I won't save it but I'll reload the uh, environment scene here uh, for some reason it broke it so yeah what basically just happened is when I combine the objects the the naming sort of broke right so uh, that's a bit of an issue but I can always just uh, delete my history rename this uh, I believe it was column zero one actually let me undo that so I can see that again yeah column underscore zero one so I'll just delete my history So I'll hit uh, save on that. And let me just quickly go back to that environment file. There we go. So now actually you can see the reference is fixed just because, again, it's all based on the naming of the nodes. So this is actually, you know, uh, you have to be a little bit careful, obviously, when it comes to these references. Um, but it is a very, very useful tool, like I said, to kind of keep your scene up to date and to try to keep a live linking to uh, a master file or a shop file.